Okay, I wanted to do a real quick uh, run through on a build plate alignment. Um, I don't know if that's uh, going to be interesting to most, but there were a few people that were having an issue with um, getting the alignment quite right, and I have to admit, they really don't tell you in the instructions here or in the book um, how to guarantee that this is perfectly aligned relative to the uh, resin tank. So uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what I do for um, my alignment um, and uh, hopefully it's useful to some of you people. So um, what we're going to do is we turn the printer on uh, and uh, okay, we're going to hit the tool icon and then we're going to go to manual and then what we're going to do is uh, if you haven't already done it get it up about uh, you know uh, maybe 70 to 100 millimeters so that you got plenty of room to work and uh, bring it in tighten it one thing uh, and, and I may be talking out my uh, talking out my ass but uh, I find that it's not necessary to over tighten this stuff uh, that may come back and bite me later but for right now um, on my other printers I've not found over torquing to benefit to uh, the end result so anyways um, loosen the hardware there we go a little pop Make sure it's nice and loose so that uh, it's freewheeling here. Okay. And the problem is, is this can move all around. So I can see why some people are having a problem with this kind of a, a um, build plate mount. I don't think it's a big problem as long as you kind of have a reference. Uh, and I line this edge up with the edge of my black... Uh, tape that's on the LCD panel. Um, it's uh, in a little channel here and it looks to be precise enough to where it shouldn't give me any problems in the print, um, uh, uh, in, in, in the resin tank. Um, again, we'll find this out uh, uh, when we go in and uh, uh, print. So anyways, so we're going to push the, okay, once we're sure everything's floating good, Push the home button. Okay, that's really off. So, very, very carefully, I move it. I get it aligned the best I can down this edge and then I check on this edge to make sure it's also aligned and that looks that looks very good so I hold that down so it doesn't move while I'm tightening it going to go crazy tight. That's why I kind of keep my hands down low here so I don't really amplify the amount of torque as I would if I was up there. So there we go. Now you set the 10 millimeter and you just push a couple of times which is good because this caches the, uh, the number of times you push uh, so that it continues with the, uh, the raising. And that's basically it. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, it couldn't be simpler. So um, if uh, you find that 
you're having issues with the alignment, try using this method and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it, uh, it, works, uh, uh, it works well for you. Now, what I'm going to also next do, is, next uh, going to do, I'm sorry, is confirm that my illumination is uh, functioning because uh, there was some issues with people complaining uh, the LEDs uh, were dead on one side. Uh, I do believe one of the online um, uh, 3D printing uh, channels had received a printer and that was the case. Uh, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this raise uh, the camera so we can see down and I'll show you how to verify that. So hold on. Okay, so um, what you want to do is remove the build plate. Uh, not that it's really necessary, but it, it'll just uh, help uh, make sure that you get a good view of the screen. Use a piece of paper because you don't want to look at the ultraviolet raw. Uh, it's, it's definitely uh, it's definitely bad for your eyes and um, the paper will help uh, filter out and you'll just get to a, a blue uh, purplish uh, tint but without the damaging UV but definitely don't stare at it uh, go to, go to um, uh, exposure and you can do 15 I only want to do like 5 uh, because we're just going to verify um, I don't want to have it on for uh, an, an unreasonable amount of time, so okay, we'll do that. Check it, okay. And now we're going to go to next and see. You want to make sure it's what's in the window here is what you see up there. And if that looks fine, then your uh, LEDs are functioning just great. Very simple. Uh, back arrow, back arrow, and you're back at the uh, home screen. I'm going to stop there. Tomorrow is uh, the day that I get my um, my wash and curing station and um, uh, we'll pick this up from there. So y'all have a good evening. Bye!